Hi guys, I just want to make a quick video to explain um, my newest product, the Meet the Teacher Pineapple theme. Um, this is what you'll see on the preview on my TPT store, this um, newsletter right here. But I wanted to kind of explain um, how I edit it and what fonts were used whenever I created it. So once you download the product, you'll see this is the first slide. The second slide, it tells you to read this first because it's very important that you understand that the fonts used in this product and a lot of other products are paid for product. I mean, are paid for fonts, sorry. So these fonts were paid for and purchased from a perfect blend teaching on TPT. Um, so what I've done here is labeled each font that was used. And the, as you can see, the PB stands for perfect blend. And I labeled each font that I used to create the preview. So if you're interested in purchasing them, all you have to do is simply click on the, on the font name, right click, and hit open hyperlink. That will bring you to the store in which I purchased these fonts from. So all you would have to do is just figure out if that's the font that you would like to purchase. You purchase it and download it and use it in your product and it's going super slow okay so here and actually this one is from a volume she sells hers in volume which are really good prices and this one's five dollars for the bundle and it shows you which fonts you get so again I have all the different ones I use if you are a font lover like me I suggest you and you download her entire pack it is um, I think a little over thirty dollars but it is so worth the money if you like her style of fonts there will be plenty that you will love and use all throughout the year. Or you can wait till the back to school sale in August-ish and um, purchase her bundle. Okay, so again, this is used in the preview. If you don't want to purchase fonts, it's not your style, you don't want to do it, I recommend using these free fonts. KG Fonts is awesome at using free fonts for personal use. Make sure you read her terms of condition. So what I did was I made a version of this newsletter using free fonts as you can see so all of the fonts used in this one is free ones that you can download at any time so I also labeled those and if you right click on those and again hit open hyperlink you can see exactly where you can go to download those fonts now of course if you've never downloaded a font before once you download and install you must close out PowerPoint open it up again and that way PowerPoint can load these fonts. So don't expect it to automatically come up as soon as you hit download because PowerPoint has to reload and reopen. Okay? So next slide, it tells you that the slide next has the free fonts used. So if you like this option, then this slide is telling you to go to the next slide, which has all of the free fonts used. Now look, it's all loaded in there because of course I've already downloaded these fonts. But if you decided the free fonts is for you, then you download it, open up PowerPoint, this file again, and all of these fonts should load just like this, and you can just change your information. Now the next slide tells you that if you want to use the paid fonts, you decided you're going to go ahead and buy from a perfect blend, then the next newsletter is the one that you need to use, which is the one that's in the preview. And of course, all the fonts again have loaded because I've already purchased them. So if you decide to purchase them, purchase her bundle, then when you open this slide, it will look exactly like this. If you don't want to purchase them, you don't want to use the free fonts that I suggested, or these you have your own in mind, you can absolutely do that by just changing these fonts. Not a big deal, just like you edit any other document. Now, this next slide says that these were made using the perfect blend fonts that were here, but I realized that some people like this Meet the Teacher, obviously is not changeable, and they like that I use the words the basic, my childhood, my education, so they don't want to change that. So for those people, I made that locked in. So you can use that, and then this might just be different, and you can edit it. So there's a couple of different options with this product on which way you can edit it. Of course, if you wanted to just completely use your own fonts, you have your own thing going on, then you want to go to this one or any of the other one and just change your fonts simply. One thing I want to point out, when you are changing the text inside, 
there are two text boxes. I'm sorry, there's two boxes, which makes this layered effect. When you start changing the text of it, the text box will change. The text box is layered. So if you wanted to change it, it's going to start to look different. See how this one is different. So if your box ends up being different size than what I had, then the other box is not going to fit correct. You simply just have to adjust this box. I wanted to point that out because I didn't want anybody to be confused as to what's going on. So what I would suggest doing, change your text first and then adjust this outside box to create that layered effect. Okay? Um, again, all of these different um, clip arts that I use to represent me, my alumni, my state, my picture, my name, all of those things can be changed out. The Meet the Teacher, which is copyrighted, and all of the different paid for clip arts, like any of my other, um, I'm sorry, any of my other newsletters can't be changed out due to copyright. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, again, if you have any questions, please let me know. Make sure you use it, you read the terms of use on the different fonts if you decide to purchase it. Again, I recommend Perfect Blend fonts. You will not regret it. They're very popular. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.